One-one thoughts after that draw with Fulham. Well, it's, it's a point gained, um, and with the teams, you know, all losing at the bottom, it's probably now uh, uh, a safe enough situation where Leeds are going to be definitely around the championship next year. I'm not so sure that's a, a real positive. It's something for me that should be never ever we should be talking about, but. The season is sort of all, is dead and buried, and that was the only thing that possibly could happen. Not going to happen now um, with tonight's results, but an ordinary performance, if I'm honest. You know, it's very scrappy second half. Leeds not really going anywhere. First half, Louis Cole gets uh, Louis Cook gets a great goal, terrific goal from nowhere. They look bright after that. Fulham are wobbling. Come out second half and you know really just handed the initiative over to Fulham and who I would think were pretty, a little bit disappointed they haven't gone on and scored when they were on top and a few airy scary moments you know at the at the other end with Leeds late on but um, a draw for me is, is as much as they they deserved out of the game. It was a wonder strike, wasn't it, from Lewis Cook? People say he doesn't shoot enough. We've been critical of him for not having goals in his game. After a goal like that, you wonder why, don't you? Well, we want him to score, don't we? We want him to shoot, we want him to create goals and we want him to get in them forward positions. There's a lot of great things to Louis Cook's game. To make him a great player, he's got to find a pass that creates goals and he's got to find goals that give him that, that, that credence. And uh, tonight he scored an absolute terrific goal. His all-round energy and performance was very, very good and it's the type of performance that endears him to fans and, 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 the, and the top premiership clubs around the country so you know please him for him and we, we, we just we, ours are words of encouragement not, not criticisms but he does need to add goals to his game Tom Adeyemi back in from the cold tonight and, and had a decent game didn't he? Yeah I mean certainly times his run well gets in the box gets on the end of things and uh, you know he, you can see where he, he, he gets his goals and, and, and given that license in, a, in, a, in a, a, a formation that suits he could get you eight to ten goals a season he, 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 he's, he does get in good positions and he's got a, a genuine genuine knack of, of finding the, you know ways of getting on the end of crosses and timing his runs to get shots away and score his goals so yeah he, I think he can feel himself a little bit lucky he's not had more pitch time at the other end, no Belushi tonight, out suspended. What a performance from Sol Bamba. First half, he, he heads a, a goal-bound shot onto the bar and out, and then three brilliant tackles in the second half. Yeah, I, I think, but for Sol Bamba, Leeds could have lost the game tonight. I thought he was immense. I thought it was a terrific performance, and, you know, one he, he should be immensely proud of, and his manager should be, you know, really pleased he was there to step into the breach and, 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 and put in a tremendous individual performance. Attacker gets another five minutes off the bench. Is that a sign that Steve Evans is prepared to just bide with him a little bit? No. Five minutes, four minutes it was. It was actually four minutes. I looked to see. And he, hadn't, he had one touch of the ball across that hit the first man. You can't say he's had a bad five minutes or, a, or at four minutes or a good four minutes. You can't really judge him, can you, on his impact. And the very fact that Leeds were lacking a bit of spark and creativity and quality in the game tells me he's, he's well down the pecking order in, in Steve's mind. Stuart Dallas on the bench tonight came on and really had Leeds' best opportunity to win the game, side foots wide from about eight yards out. Might be a confidence thing with, with Stuart Dallas because I think it's an easy chance. I think with somebody the technique that he's got, he's, he's tidy around the, round, round the ball, he, he hits the target from what was 10 yards maximum, maximum. Leeds win the game 2-1 uh, he doesn't hit the target from a, a, a short distance and you know the pressure heaps on his productivity if you like you know the, 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 the attacking end of the field again very honest kid you'd like him in your side for his endeavour and his work rate and his attitude and I'm sure he's a great lad around the building but his job is to produce and he's just had an opportunity tonight but it's just spurned it and gone wide finally it's one winning 10 in the league for Leeds now do you feel there's any pressure on Steve at the minute? I think with the history of the club and the way it goes, there's always pressure on the manager. If you'd have had three wins in ten, there's pressure on. You know, the fact it's one and it was a, it makes that Bristol City result now look even better because they weren't brilliant, were they? You know, the first half was dreadful, but they nicked a goal and got away with it, and it's actually now making that that sequence look a little bit better because no win in ten is a lot worse than one win in ten. Um, Listen, we've said stability is required and, and, and a long-term game plan is required. For me, it's not the answer to chop and change. But history says that you've got to get results at this football club. And at the minute, one in ten probably ain't, uh, ain't deemed the required sequence. So we'll have to wait and see.